I can only speak for ourselves in the way we work, that the key is that if you have no credits, if you haven't trained um, and you have a showreel, the chances of you being seen are near to 100% or at least looked at in terms of if you, if you submit yourself, if you have a showreel. Most casting directors will say it doesn't have to be professionally done. Everybody has a smartphone or at least you know someone that has a smartphone if you don't have one and set up a two shot, which is two smartphones on two 10 pound little um, uh, tripods pop it on your mate, pop it on you, and do a scene that you like, and that can be enough. And then just edit it so that it's on you and you look and sound great. For musicals, um, just work out where you sound good in your flat. Um, we know, again, you don't have to have it professionally done, but if you're doing something that's legit, you might sound better in the bathroom. If you're doing some a play, you might sound better in the bedroom, you know, because of all the soft furnishings that live in your bedrooms. I think, in essence, with self-tapes or showreels, these days, casting directors just want to see who you are. So get something down. You can just make sure you sound and look great in terms of we can see and hear you. If you have a spotlight page, a lot of actors don't use it as a tool. They use it as something they're supposed to buy. But there's so many ways you can use it as a tool to, to communicate with the industry. And that's, that can be directors, agents, casting directors, producers. You really sort of delve into to what your spotlight page is and how, in essence, you can use it. And, and you don't have to spend lots of money on 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 showreels and self tapes and all those things these days you just you just don't because we're all sensitive to being broke and it being expensive uh existing so just make sure you can be seen make sure you can be heard and we'll we'll watch it <laughs>